my second chance. Sometimes I wish I could get a second chance to be a parent and take care of my children. When I became a parent and a husband at a very young age, I didn't know the huge responsibility I was taking on. I thought being a parent and a husband was just a matter of taking care of my, their physical needs, and I could do that easy by having a job and bringing home the money. I soon found out the hard way. It was much more than that. I was very confused and frustrated as things were not working out in my relationships with my family. I started to wonder why. I started to think for the first time of my life and my past. All my research and troubles had its roots in my experience at residential school. I found that because of the experience at the school and the abuses that took place, I was very messed up. Being taken away to residential school at the age of seven and being away from my parents for 13 years had a lot to do with it. I was very angry. I didn't know anything about my responsibilities as a parent and husband. My parents were not there to teach me to be role models. And so I started my healing journey at the age of 26. The journey was long and difficult. My wife passed away in the meantime at a very young age, and I was left alone to raise my young children. So I had no choice but to take care of my two daughters. I am now 65 years old. I am in a good space. I've learned a lot about the impact of residential school had on me. I now understand the effects and also the healing process. So now, in a way, I've been given a second chance to be a parent. I now have grandchildren and now a chance to be a good parent by supporting and helping my children looking after their children. My grandchildren will be okay. The effects of residential school cycle stops with my grandchildren.